Now, you look at the title, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, man. And I'm talking about Call of Duty, bro. I was looking back when I first played Call of Duty, and it was so much fun, man. It was so much fun. I remember that a guy from work introduced me to Call of Duty 4 on PS3. And when I went and got the game, I rented it out through Blockbuster. For the young people that don't know what Blockbuster is, it's a store where you could rent games back in the day. And I rented out Call of Duty 4, and it was so much fun, man. I fell in love with the game. Around that time, I started messing around YouTube and find the gaming gaming channels on YouTube that help you, you know, with the game and whatnot. And it was so much fun, man. I used to spend so much time with Call of Duty, man. When I wasn't playing it, I was looking at it on YouTube, man. And it was so much fun. I was learning so much from it. And just trying to become better, man. Trying to build a strong bond with the game. But the game was going through changes, man. And I was adjusting, which each each game that came out, I was adjusting, I was learning. It was still a lot of fun. I was hooked, man. It was like, man, it was like, it was like a girlfriend to me, man. I wanted to spend every single moment of my time with the game. Uh, I, I, it was so much, man. It, it, it was so much to me. It was, it was, it meant, it meant a lot. But then, each each year, I started noticing things, man. I started noticing things about the game that were annoying, and 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 it would piss me off to the point where I was raging in in constant arguing with with with, with the game. But it was still doable, man. You know, uh, it was it was still fun to play. I met a lot of great people playing the playing playing the game, but I think like I believe it started on Modern Warfare. Or Modern Warfare Three came out. When Modern Warfare Three came out, and the people from from Activision decided that hey, we gotta help out these noobs and these uh, kids that are coming into the game, and we're gonna help them out with. You know, just they don't have to even earn the kill streak. They can just sit somewhere and 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 guess and get what they call support streaks. It started becoming kind of annoying, man. I started ranging more, started getting upset, but I liked it, the game. I'm gonna jump to the second half and continue this conversation. Anyway. When the second game, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, I still liked the game. I still liked to play it. I was, it was still an enjoyable experience. But then Black Ops, Black Ops 2 came out. And a lot of the people that I was playing with left. A lot of people that I was watching on YouTube stopped posting videos about the game. A lot of people that I liked and and enjoy their the company and their presence don't i'm not here no more and that was a major reason why i was still playing the game myself it was because a guy like shakedown 2012 uh nasa one fatal shots optimus magnum people like that man i was in you know enjoying playing with them and join like you know watching their videos about the game and whatnot a lot of quality qu- content for from from call of duty from from them but they start playing the game so now i find myself like damn i'm, I'm solo here do i really want to continue investing time with this game or do i want to move on and i decided you know what i had committed so many years with to 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 her i'm gonna continue with her so I continued with the game, you know. I wasn't as, as I wasn't as in love with it as I was at the beginning, but I w- it was tolerable, you know. It was something that I can continue to play maybe once every other day or one nap, 
I started posting videos myself about the game just to stay interested in the game. My, my focus changed from the game into more like building and gaming channel on YouTube myself. But then Advanced Warfare came out, man, and that's where it hit the ceiling right there, man. I, I, I had enough with it. I had enough with it because now it became it became a sweat box. It became tedious. It became work. And I hate it. Now I hate it. I hate it because I cannot get away from it. I invested too much into it to get away from it. And I don't have the patience to to find another one. And and it just it's just horrible. I hate it. It's work. It's tedious. It's horrendous now. It started with love and now it's ending with hate, man. Hate for this game. I it's, it's just and it's not the movement. It's not the movement, really, it's not. It's the fact that it's so much work now. Every freaking match, I sorting it out. I'm working it out. I'm constantly wiping my hands because it's so fucking sweaty in here, man. And the next game is going to be the same thing. The same thing, man. Same thing. Why? Why do they have to be like this? Why do I have to argue with this game every fucking time I play with it? It should not be like that. It should be like back in the day. Back when I fell in love with her. Back on Call of Duty 4 days, when she was beautiful, when she was enjoyable, when she was a game and not work. 